this kind of talking about sex, about how it can take us to realms of incredible sense of communion and beauty and and resonance with the world and pride with ourselves and our self-esteem. You know, that kind of talk about sex you don't get. <laughs> I personally think that problems with porn off quite often come from problems with sex in itself. Uh, you know, as in like people's sex lives are dysfunctional in some way and therefore they turn to porn and then it just gets worse and worse from there. Um, you can sort of fall into, yeah, a trap essentially. Um, you th how do you think we are um, as a society or culture how competent do you think we are at talking about sex and actually understanding it in any kind of sophisticated way? Um, I think we're kind of schizophrenic when it comes to sex. You, you can get bombarded in the media with stuff that's pretty explicit and direct and, you mm. know, overt. And, but it's, it's often of the porn style where people are objects and things are being done to other, to people and sex is associated with power and control and, or, or male dominance, things like this, um, and humiliation. Um, but I think that talking about sex and just really kind of frank, open, it's this, is, it's this really cool activity. And uh, whether alone or with a partner, it's, um, it, 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 um, we're, we're set up to feel a lot of pleasure from it. And it's a, a wonderful sharing, um, playful, fun, mixed with laughter, mixed with enjoyment and this kind of talking about sex, about how it can take us to realms of incredible sense of communion and beauty and, and resonance with the world and pride with ourselves and our self-esteem. You know, that kind of talk about sex, you don't get, you know, I was, that, I was that much. So, so, yeah, I'm, in terms of creating a product like the pornographic industry has, it, they they do much better with the violence, aggression, and and sex is this doing you know objectifying people because they can sell that. Um, I think you know when you see people who are really you know to see people who really care about each other and are and are honoring and celebrating the beauty of each other through sexual uh, interaction, you know that might you know kind of turn the the regular viewer or make the regular viewer feel envious or um, deficient in some way. And so you, it's harder to sell than just like, you know, do this to me, suck this, you know, lick well, this, this stuff, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. And things well, like that. It requires some investment, right? Essentially. I think that's part uh, of, of it. the whole person, you yeah, yeah. have being a whole person in sexual activity. But that's where the the sheer amazing pleasures can really happen because there's no negative side effects. Just like really good laughter, you know. You, you know, you can laugh as much, you know, you can never have enough really good laughter, but there are kind of forms of humor that are, um, you know, best to stay away from because they make you feel bad about yourself and, 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 and have difficulty connecting with other people.